looking for a written invitation? Sweet ride. So Luther West is back in this one. Yeah. Um, you know, there's not a lot of explanation about how your character kind of got from the last movie to where he is in this one. Did mm -hmm. you kind of create a backstory for yourself? Do you sort of know what happened? Well, I mean, we know that that he was watching uh, what went down from his tunnel. You know, he was watching how the Armada, the Valentines Armada, came in and started attacking the ships. So, um, you know, he he just went to search for Alice again. You know, he's on this he's he's on the lookout and trying to find her and, and rescue her. He, you know, teams up with three other guys and they go in there to see what's up. And what was it like being one of those commanders working with Johan and Kevin and those guys? Oh, they're my boys, you know, you know, they're tremendous. Kevin is amazing. Uh, they they're all tremendous actors and and we had this kinship from the get-go. Uh, Johan and I actually used to uh, model together like 16 years ago. Oh wow. Uh, we were roommates in Paris, so we know each other and and so it was it was just a it was like a family reunion, if you will, you know, with Mila and everybody else. I had been a huge fan of of the the other cast members from before and uh, it was the most fun I had I ever had on a film. Yeah, well this really is Resident Evil All-Stars in yeah. a sense. I yeah. mean every everyone's back. Everybody's back. I mean yeah. that must have been really exciting to know mm -hmm. that that was what this film was going to be and that feeling on the set. It was it was amazing, you know, and everybody's really cool and laid back and we would like you know, prank each other and 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 make fun of each other on the set and uh, What was the best prank on the set? Well, Mila was was like the king, the, oh, she the, the, the queen, the queen of, of all pranks. Yeah, she she always got me like naked somewhere. <laughs> I, would, I would change into an outfit, and she was there with a video camera, like she just showed up out of nowhere. Like she's she's good like that. But um, yeah, it, it's like a family reunion. It's it's really it's a lot of fun. Uh, can you talk a little bit about Luther's relationship with Alice? Because mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, he sacrifices a lot for mm -hmm. her mm -hmm. to try to save her in this film. Mm -hmm. We talk about that. It, it's almost a respect between the two. Oh, absolutely. I think, uh, you know, he, he likes her and, and he's drawn to her and, and he wants to protect her and, and I think she feels the same way. Um, there's definitely some emotional undertones there and he's definitely got respect for her I and mean, she's kick ass, you know, and he just watches her and goes like, whoa. <laughs> so he steps it up, you know, he can't punk out, you know, if the girl does it in high heels, you better do it too. Yeah, yeah, he comes ready ready to go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Another thing I liked about the movie, because, it, it, you know, obviously it's based on the video game, it almost felt like this one was sort of structured like a video game, mm -hmm. with, there were different levels that you guys had to kind of get to. Did, That's did you, right. Did you feel like that too? Did you sort of feel the script was structured in that way? Well, the script, yeah, but when you shoot it, you shoot it out of sequence, so, so it's very different, uh, uh, the experience of shooting it, actually. But, um, I mean, we saw all the different sets. You know, you go from Japan to to, uh, to Moscow, you go to New York, and you're in Siberia. And uh, so we, we we got that this was about, you know, making it through those, those different stages and, uh, you know, getting to a point where you can actually be saved and be out of there. And, and it's, it was never over, you know. There was always something else lurking. There was always something else waiting for you, you know. You're, you're in the snow cat, you know, presumably safe, and then all of a sudden the whole ground, <laughs> and this thing shows up, and it's, it's never ending, but it, that's, that's the charm of the movie. Yeah. Uh, last thing I ask you, I know you have your own clothing line, mm -hmm. right? Uh, do you do anything with sort of dressing Luther? Are you involved at all? Are you like, oh, no, I don't think you should oh, be wearing this. Of course. This. Let's, oh, let's absolutely. This this absolutely. You know, World of Alpha is about um, your individual style and you being the designer and, and creating your own look and designing your own shirts and suits and whatnot. And it's custom and it's great. And, uh, and yeah, absolutely. I'm always, I'm always interested and curious about what my characters are wearing. Like on my show Undercovers, I was wearing all my own stuff. Wow. So it depends. Luther probably wouldn't have been fighting uh, so great in a three-piece suit, but um, that's why he wore a tank top. Perfect. Minus 10 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>